India is an ancient country and has given birth to many famous persons and leaders. Unfortunately, there are unsung heroes amongst us who lie forgotten despite their contributions to the country. One such legend was the visionary and progressive ruler, Maharaja Bir Vikramanikya, who achieved so much in a very short lifetime. Born on 19th August 1908, in the princely state of Tripura to Maharaja Birendra Kishore Manikya Bahadur and Maharani Arundhati Mahadevi, the young prince showed great intellect, discipline and promise from an early age. He started assisting his father in matters of the state while continuing his formal studies and military education at both Shillong and Agartala. He was not just excellent in his education but also an expert polo player an artist like his father. Unfortunately, after the demise of Maharaja Virendra Kishur Manikya, who was barely 40, Bir Bikram Manikya had a tremendous task ahead of him. Assuming the throne at the tender age of 16, he was invested with full powers when he became 20 years of age on 19th August 1927. His investiture Darbar was attended by His Excellency the Governor of Bengal, Lord Jackson, and over two lakh people from the state and outside attended the solemn but grand five-day event. The magnificent Ujjayanta Palace at Agartala witnessed two important events in December 1940. This rare clip, captured by the Craighead brothers, was commissioned by the National Geographic magazine USA. It portrays the grandeur of Tripura and the joyous mood of the people as they witnessed the tika or investiture of the Crown Prince, Jivraj Kirit Bikram Kishore, the sole heir of Maharaja Bir Bikram Manikya, on 12 December 1940. This was followed by the wedding of Maharaj Kumari Bina Devi, sister of the Maharaja, on 14th December 1940, with Maharaj Kumar K. S. Nirmal Singhji of Bhavnagar, Gujarat. The procession of 100 elephants, regally decked, amidst music, chanting, and the participation of the happy people shows the ambience in Tripura at the time. Thus was the reign of the Maharaja, when all were free and happy, despite the Second World War and communal violence in different parts of British India. He introduced a modern democratic constitution on 1st Baisak TE corresponding to the Tripura era or New Year on 14th April 1939 with a bicameral legislature and neutral judiciary, Panchayati Raj and a municipal council steering the administration in many modern directions. The progress of education in the West impressed the Maharaja so much that on his return he immediately drew up a model scheme Vidyapatan, or an educational institute, which included a college of arts, science, agriculture, technology, medicine, and a rural university. This was the Vidyapatan, which is now known as MBB College and University. Besides this, he established more schools and vocation-oriented institutes in different parts of Tripura. And also in Dharmanagar, he established the Birbikram Institute, Schools in far-flung areas with stipends for promising students were also promoted by holding of reward examinations 
for the students living in the hills. He established training centers also for the artisans and also the convicts in prison, deaf and dumb schools, boarding houses, school buses for girl students, and training institutes like Sanskrit tolls and madrasas were also set up, which indicate that there was no religious bias. Maharaja Bir Vikram Manikya maintained his cordial relations with the poet Rabindranath Tagore till his death. On the poet's invitation, the Maharaja visited Shantiniketan to stay with him for some time when he was formally given a reception at the famous Amrakunja. The Maharaja bestowed the title of Bharat Bhaskar, son of India, upon Tagore on his 80th birthday. This was a mark of Tripura's respect for the poet, which was received by him with honour and came much before the country recognised Tagore. For the development of the rural areas, especially inhabited by the indigenous people in the hills, the Maharaja tried to modernize the village system. He wanted the villagers to manage their own affairs through elected members by creating a Gram Mandili from 1938 onwards in the southern areas. He strengthened the Tripura Kshatriya Mandal and regulated and modernized the social customs for their growth. A secular ruler, he wanted all-round development for all sections of the society. He set up social organizations such as Manipuri Kshatriya Mandal and Lashkar Radha with the intention of improving his citizens' way of life. He received many honors from Muslim organizations outside his state such as Anjuman, Islamia, he was a gifted architect Islam, Hadith, and has left many of his structural specimens executed on the lines of his own plans and blueprints. The extension of the Ujjayanta Palace, the formal gardens and fountains, the Nir Mahal Palace, the only lake palace in East India, was constructed over a marsh known as Rudijala and is a work of art. Unfortunately, the Shripur Palace could not be completed due to the war and his demise. Maharaja Bir Bikram Manikya was well-travelled and after seeing the plight of the Native American tribes in the USA, due to influx, he took steps to protect the rights of his indigenous people by starting one of the first reserves in India, consisting of large tracts of forest and reserved areas for their welfare in 1941 and 1943. Temples like the Buddha Mandir were also designed by him and it was inaugurated by his son, the then Yuvraj Kirit Bikram Kishore Bahadur. The Agartala airport he commissioned in 41 was used to airdrop food and supplies for the refugees who were in the thousands flocking his state during and after the war. Maharaja Bir Bikram gave protection and food to thousands of riot-affected people of the neighbouring districts of British India, once during the Dhaka riots in 1941 and again during the Noah Khali riots in 1946, when thousands took shelter in the state for their life and honour. The spontaneous influx of thousands of famine-affected people in 1943 from British India were also given food and shelter. The Maharaja's royal administration extended their cooperation to the migrants and for maintaining communal harmony, Preeti Bardhayak Samiti was formed. No less than Mahatma Gandhi asked the Maharaja to give shelter to these refugees who swamped the state. A crucial time in world history happened during his reign, the Second World War, and the independence movement gained momentum, giving rise to violence. This stalled his other plans for the state, yet revealed the heroic side of the king. Trained in the Indian army, he reorganized the armed forces, commissioning the first battalion of Tripura rifles that played a mighty role in the war. He led his army against a Japanese imperial army at the fronts of Burma and Arakan, emerging victorious, defeating the Japanese who had occupied large parts of Southeast Asia since December 1942. With his bravery and selfless act, 
at battle and governance, he was awarded the Star of Burma, saluting gun and titles. But he insisted that the brave ones who had fought with him be recognized, as well as many were martyred in the war, including his brother. On May 17, 1947, only two months away before Indian independence, a very pivotal moment in Tripura's history, Maharaja Bir Bikram Manikya Kishore died prematurely of chronic pneumonia. Perhaps the strain hastened his illness. His 19-year reign marked a remarkable turning point in the history of Tripura. He was succeeded by his only heir, His Highness Maharaja Manikya Kirit Bikram Kishore De Burman. Being a minor, the administration was vested in a council of regency set up by the government of India. His mother, Her Highness Rajmata Kanchan Prabhadevi, was appointed as the regent. The age-old kingdom of Tripura was finally integrated into the Indian Union by an instrument which took effect from 15th October 1949. Maharaja Bir Bikramanikya lives on. He held on to his vision for a better future for his people and showed that with selflessness, unity, working towards a common goal, we can achieve the impossible. Leaving behind the differences that divides us, our generation can make a big difference and progress 